Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with another segment of the Beginner's Junk Journal series. We are still working in our, getting chunkier by the minute, <laughs> Reader's Digest Journal. We um, need some more small cards and tags and things for this, so we are going to go ahead and we're going to work with playing cards. This is a requested video from Carrie asking that... I show some ideas using playing cards and so I have several of these cards I call these the Julie and Shelley card and um, I think it was a canasta set <laughs> um, and so we're just gonna jump right in here um, so uh, if you <laughs> if you don't have a variety of cards I Okay, we'll go through these and see if we can find some other that might work with this beach theme. There's a Julie Shelley card. So this is a sample of the cards that I have available in my Etsy shop. And so there's some beach cards. Ooh, and even a flamingo. Okay, we'll put those aside. We might use those. Excuse me. And put those right there okay so one of the things that I like to do is you know because of the glossiness of cards and I know you can go ahead and use sandpaper and sand them down and make some of the glossiness go away um, I like to sew them okay it's just one of the things that I like to do especially if I know I'm going to be using a variety of cards the other thing is I like to sew them to paper because I can glue paper to paper. I can glue paper to um, fabric and so I'll just go ahead and line up some papers. Now if I knew what I was going to put it on and I'm going to show you that too, but this is um, one way that I just I can prepare a whole bunch of playing cards to use in a journal or a project and I only use the glue stick it's just holding this in place it is not gonna glue it to this probably not gonna glue it to this paper so I have those in place and there we go so that's gonna be one. if I was gonna be using a guest check you know I always take these off then I might go ahead and add add it onto the the front here. Okay. So and again, I'm gonna be sewing it, and I like I like the numbers on the guest check, you guys. So I'm gonna make sure that you can see that. So I have a little stack going here. You know, how about the, the flamingos on a guest check? Now, whether I use them in this journal or not, I'll have them. And I think for this one, we'll have the, them be on this side. Okay. Okay, so maybe you have some tags that you have cut out. So again, we can go ahead and just add those onto here. Now, since you're sewing, you could go ahead and have some fabric already glued on there as well. Still haven't found my pink scissors, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what I did with them. There we go. So there's that and then we can put them on top of there so if you know that you're going to be collaging you might as well go ahead and sew that piece on while you're sewing it there okay um, project life cards perfect perfect size for putting a, a card on And look at the the vintageness of that card. Okay. 
And this one ends up that the card itself also matches really, really well. So you might also be planning to use, well, I was gonna say the net, but we don't have it, but we do have this. You know, you can go ahead and build your card and we can be sewing around that. Another thing I have is I have some of these that came out of, out of that little calendar that I that is so cool. And so we can go ahead and add a card onto here as well. Okay, and then just sew it on here. And then maybe add, because you know I do like this um, I'm just gonna come down here and put some glue on it but I like this book paper and then this can become a a journal piece tag thing in your in your journal so I think that's kind of cool um, you can also use this and use the page, this, this part. So you could go ahead and glue, just like we're gluing on that graph paper, you could glue uh, one of your, your cards on this. So what else do we have over here? We have a white tag. I think it's just kind of funny. I have some Carnival Cruise Line cards and whether I use that for this or for a 4th of July journal, I think that that will be kind of cool. And so another thing is you might have a postcard. You know what, let's do this this way. Okay, so you might have a postcard and we can use that and glue our card. And of course you can glue or you'll be, you can sew and sew these into pockets. And I know, believe it or not, I'm not gonna put them into pockets. But now this can be the cover of, we'll sew around this, but it could be the cover of a little mini journal with this on the inside. And um, so that's, I think that's kind of cool. And another thing that you can do is you can take a set of note papers and you can go ahead and set it up. Let's grab a little stack. Okay, set it up with your Okay. We're going to do it like that. I'm going to use a paper clip. I'm going to take all these to the sew machine and sew all of them and then bring them back. Okay? So here's another one of these. Okay, so this is the, the way that I like to do these that, that is sewing. Okay? So um, I think we'll go ahead and add that right under there maybe add this to the side here okay so just like that I mean you can make you you can see you can get a lot a lot of items made so the other thing is is I'm gonna go sew these and we'll bring them back and um, but another thing you can do is we have this from our from our stash of items whoops we need a card okay and go ahead and fold that down we can bring this up and have it be 
this little like a uh, matchbook style okay so it's got the flip up matchbook style and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our card I'm gonna have it go a little to the side just for something different and then I'm gonna attach this and I'm gonna attach this with a staple okay Okay, so I'm going to attach it here and I'll use two staples because to me that looks like it's on purpose instead of just a staple out there in the random, the randomness. And that can of course become a pocket. You'll be able to put something in there if you want to. can go all the way through. Oh, I closed it. Okay, well, we'll do this again, but that, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so there you have that one. And I believe we have another piece. <laughs> and we have another card, oh my goodness. Okay, so this one is going to, it's gonna get its staple up here, up here. This is a Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, one of my favorite tools. It was a gift from Jana. Thank you so much, Jana. Back when I was first starting out and people sent me their favorite tools, and it was like, oh, wow, this is an amazing tool. Okay, so this is what I was going for, you guys, is I was like, okay, that could just go like that. So we end up, we have two of them. One of them is going to be a flip like this. And I believe somewhere on the desk we have some note paper that we can stick in here. And this can become a little notebook. Um, but also being able to use the card as a matchstick. Now don't forget your punches. And being able to use a punch to, um, to, to use your cards. So there we've used our Hobby Lobby tag punch. And now we have a cute little tag. Now you can also um, use a punch and go ahead and punch around, um, you know, like if you have an oval punch that will punch this. Or, you know what I do have is my new, well it's not new, but it's, it's one of the newest things I have. I, I think I purchased it last year. Um, okay, so we need to cut an edge off here. And you can go ahead and punch the images out of your cards and use them. So wouldn't this make an adorable paper clip or something? So, and then depending on how this turns out, you also have a frame. So you'll be able to use that, you know, you can, you can use that somewhere in in a journal or something that you're working with. So let's see, we do have another. We can go ahead and build on to this tag using cool stuff that we have okay so uh, I have a different idea what if we use this as a belly band we'll be cutting sides off of these okay so we can just lay that over that over okay and then what I'm thinking is we can take this card and this card we can attach it attach it to the top see if we can find a little piece of the fabric maybe like that And remember, we can use a stapler to 
to attach cards. Highly recommend using a stapler to attach cards. And then we can bring this down and have it come in and be like paper clip or paper clipboard style. So those are down. I might have to cut my card, my project life card down, but that's okay. And so that gives me that tag. We've used a punched card and attached it. And now we have a clipboard style belly band. Okay. And it's not taking up too much stuff. If we put this on a page that already has a little bit of bulk up here or over on the side, um, that will be a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and go stitch some items and I will be right back. So these are a couple that we just stapled and we'll be right back with our stitched our stitched cards. Are we having fun yet? Okay, I'm back. So I have sewn all of our little things. So of course the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and cut any strings and if if you're cutting strings, some people are don't don't cut the strings. So then we can go ahead and these are safely attached so we can continue to decorate them however you want to to decorate okay or embellish and so that is on all of those so you can see i did some zigzag i did some small zigzag um i did some straight stitch this one i stitched all the way up to the top i left it so that it can be a like a large flip up, flip open tag okay it's a calendar book that actually a store gave me because when i brought it to their attention that they were from 2013 she was like oh you can just have those I'm like okay i do buy a lot of stuff it's my dollar 49 cent store Okay, so here's this one. I did small stitching and then I was like, oh, this is taking forever. So I added, I switched it to the larger and there we have that. Okay, so this is another like clipboard style notebook and this way you don't lose any of the papers. Okay, and this will clip over like a belly band or over the front of a pocket and you still have all these places okay so here is our graph paper now you can go ahead and cut things out or rip them I'm gonna cut this one okay and what I really like about doing this this way is now I have I have paper backing that can be written on so if we wanted to just use this as a journaling card just as it is it can now be written on um, but the other thing is is now it's paper so if we choose to put it into the journal somewhere it is it 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 is, it is paper so we can glue right on this and on to the, the next thing so again you can use zigzag stitching or straight stitch um, let's go ahead and cut this one and then I'll show you a couple things that we can use these for in the journal. The tags are kind of obvious and we'll embellish those a little bit more with a couple other things that I wanted to bring to your attention that you can use for decorating or embellishing. And so I will save these items and we can just go ahead but there you go you have this great little card and remember we had some places that needed great little cards I'm looking for our double tuck there's our top tuck there's a belly band
big shell paper. There it is. So um, this little card, it can go right in here. Okay, so it can just go right in there. You can go ahead. It could also go in here. It's actually going to fit better on this one. It's going to fit better up there. So that can go right in there. And it's a journaling card. Now, if we weren't so bulky already, we could go ahead and add you know, some, some lace or something up there. But we're getting really bulky here. So, um, so I think we're going to go ahead and leave it like that. So another thing that we can do is we can take this and just add this to we could go ahead and it could go on here and then flip over so and put it here adhere it here to the paper and it could be a flip up okay so that's something that we could do and let me show you on Okay, so if this was facing this way, another thing we can do is we can go ahead and glue this on now and it can be our, our um, tag tab. So let's see. So like right here. So we gave this double purpose. It can either be that the paper is there so that we can use it to attach it to things or the paper is there so that we can write on it. I, yep, my homework was to get the fabric tech ready. Didn't happen. Okay, so now we are taking paper to paper. And that is going to work much better than trying to, to put a card onto the paper. Okay? So that. Um, we can also go ahead on these. You can, uh, like I said, you can rip around the edge of whatever paper that you have used. And I would use a, a paper that's easy to um, attach to things. So not like the like the paint masking paper is not a super easy um, paper to, to attach to things so that I wouldn't wouldn't put that on there. I just want to say that because you see me use that a lot but you also see that I will sew the whole thing onto the cover with the green paper in between. Okay, so here is this. And of course it could just go in lazy paper here. Just like that. Okay, so there's just so many, I mean this is just the tip of the iceberg of things that we can do with cards. Um, I have chosen cards for my challenge, that's one of my 15. So uh, you can expect a card <laughs> video for that. And the cool thing about that one is that it is also a pair. It's two different cards. So I'll, I'll be doing things that uh, using a pair of cards that are similar to each other. So we have this, and I know we had pockets left, you guys. I know, oh, okay, well, there, she can have that scary boat behind her, or maybe some fun flamingos. Of course, they're on the wrong side. <laughs> that in there that'll also help hold that in like it and 
yeah so we will continue to embellish those but that gives you some ideas for using cards um, attaching them to any kind of journaling card attaching them to paper so that they're easier to put in so of course another thing that you can do here is you can cut this bigger of course and you can attach it in as a um, as a little tuck so this could get attached in here and now it would be a tuck or even on this side or it could be a pocket um, so lots and lots of things that you can do with cards. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it um, gave you some idea, something new that you saw. And I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day. I hope you have a great weekend. Stay happy and healthy. And remember, we'll be here each day at 1030 and each weekday at 4 o'clock. The 4 o'clock is is weekdays while we're home staying safer at home so that's going to be a little while longer we're going to finish this reader's digest journal then move on to the golden book so if you want to play along um, make sure you're looking for that golden book and it does look like i'm going to have some golden book kits next week that will include a golden book a highlights magazine and some other awesome things that we are finding as we're going through stuff, getting it ready to go into the Dear Julie Julie warehouse. If you're here in the premiere, I'm waving. I want to thank you for being here. And I want to especially thank all of you that reach out to others and help them answer questions and just be such amazing, amazing friends and people. Kindness is key and it shows in this community so i want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that youtube can tell you when the next video comes up and as always don't forget to watch one of these videos or go watch someone else's video right after this one because you do youtube really likes that and yes, it really helps my channel. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.